It's not just a matter of marketing. The reason Apple can keep its sales way beyond is how problematic Android is. First of all, bad overall of the sales service. Except for Fairphone, if the cost is not a hassle, can you name which brands provide more than two years of warranty? Can you imagine even Samsung's phones would generally only claim to have one year of it? And with the fact that more smartphones are hardly able to repair by yourself, especially for the lower end ones which even repairing is risking your data of your phone if it suddenly runs out. The second one, short period before the end of life compared to iPhones. To be honest, this is most likely due to excessive range of offerings and updates depend on it. Every phone is using completely different specifications, luckily so does the software to get them work well. If every of these has to be long in terms of updates and the codes needed aren't the same, you can imagine the cost maintaining those. That is why most Android phones, even for flagships, can only sustain for up to 3 years in terms of OS updates. Look at the end of life period. Android 8 is no longer updated. In comparison to the iPhone success, which you can still go for iOS 15. I was talking that price doesn't matter because Raspberry Pi remains at it mentions for all its products even for the one Model A for less than $40. Third one, removing features to copy out the way Apple gained more, resulting in the loss of competitive features against iPhone. This one is very extreme to be honest. Who the shit is saying removing 3.5mm in favour of larger battery size, what the evidence? When Sony Xperia Mark III debunks that with a 4500mAh battery and RP68 released keeping 3.5mm. Personally, I'm still using Android, it's basically my gravity and the allowance of the external applications unlike iPhones. At the end, why can those Android phones still be called flagship if companies don't care about different types of customers?